five years, Indiana has seen an 18% drop in the number of people trying to get their teaching license. Fewer applicants, of course, means fewer teachers to educate our children. It's a big problem, and right now at the State House, a possible solution being discussed. The now Zan Kelly joins us live to explain. Hey, Ann. Well, Candace, just now stepping outside to fill you in, in the House chambers here at the State House right now, wrapping up a meeting, 50 professionals from across our state, uh, teachers, pro uh, professors, educators who work with our children. They've been in there discussing this problem of teacher shortage and coming up with a list of ideas. They actually have a full list, pages of ideas. I have the draft right here. And now this draft is going to be given to legislators. It's going to help shape the legislative agenda come January 1st. Now, this group is called the Blue Ribbon Commission on the Recruitment and Retention of Excellent Educators. State Superintendent Glenda Ritz co-chairs it, and they've been meeting regularly for the past few months. Months. And I can tell you, listening into their final meeting just moments ago, some really in depth conversations happening about what works and what doesn't work in the classroom, what keeps teachers around, and what pushes them away. So, their solutions, what are they? Well, their list is being finalized as we speak, but I can tell you it includes dozens of proposals, including incentives for teachers who work in high need schools, giving scholarships to minority teachers as a way of promoting diversity, and encouraging specific types of professional development for teachers. The teachers meeting here in the state house who just wrapped up that meeting, they really have a lot of ideas. And now it goes to the lawmakers to see what they do with them. Reporting live outside the state house, Ann Kelly, RTV6.